Okay, so we are on a logging road and we noticed a nice exposure here of oxidized schists and uh, looks like they're chloratic and graphitic schists. Uh, you have an exposure of sulfides right up here. So um, we're going to take a look at this further, but for now we're pulling samples off of this float rock, which is most likely from there. You can see you have quartz and you have scattered sulfides, primarily pyrite with minor amounts of chalcopyrite. So we found a bunch of these here. So we're going to take one of these samples that we uh, hammer off this uh, rock here or somewhere on this road and we're going to send it in for an analysis. So I would say you got about 10% uh, scattered sulfides throughout the rock. Definitely coarse grain pyrite, minor amounts of calcopyrite. Interesting. Another piece right here. So just down the ways, uh, we have a section of the road which has really oxidized schists and uh, not kind of indicative of the area. So these are most likely from that last exposure. So we're going to see if we can find any of these mineralized samples. So similar, you have graphitic schists and slightly chloratic schists. So hordes of uh, pyrite there and calcopyrite. So we got loads of mineralized samples. So this is primarily pyrite with a little bit of iron pyrite. And then maybe a little bit of uh, galena. And svalerate just a tiny bit though. Possibly some pyrotite right there. So we're going to catalog these, take another little walk, and See what else we come up with. Okay, so we found about a dozen more samples, all similar. Uh, so what we're going to do is send in the very first one we had. Uh, that's going to go in for an analysis. And uh, that's all we have time for. So we got to get out of the rain. It's starting to pour on us. We'll see you guys next time.